Hello and welcome to the Scientific Adventures of Beard Man. Today we're going to be looking at a concept builder on physicsclassroom.com and the topic of momentum and collisions titled Explosions, Law Enforcement. All right, so a couple things. If you did not see my video on momentum, I'll link it here. Remember, momentum is mass times velocity. It tells you how hard an object is to bring to a stop. Here's a couple of videos on impulse or impulse and, and momentum. Um, Impulse is J, and that is uh, a force acting for a certain amount of time. You push on something for a certain amount of time, and that will cause a change in momentum. So however much your force times time gives you numerically, that'll be the same change in your momentum. All of that ties into today where we want to talk about conservation momentum. We'll get to this over here in just a moment. Uh, in a collision between objects, they can transfer their momentum to each other, but the total momentum will remain the same. So when two things hit, if they had momentum to begin with, they will have the same momentum total at the end of that collision. It's just one of them might have lost some momentum, and whatever momentum they lost, the other one gained. Okay? Um, so just an interesting side note here the universe will always have the same total momentum unless something outside the universe pushes on it. And I got double periods because that's really emphatic. Anyways, just accidentally. Um, so, but, but the universe as a whole will have the same total momentum, okay, with, with, with what's going on inside the universe. Because anytime one thing loses some momentum, another thing is gaining it. For two objects, the change in momentum during a collision will be equal and opposite. And here is the key that we're getting to for today's concept builder. I want to talk about why that is. When two things hit, Newton's third law tells us that the force on one will be equal and opposite to the force on the other. Here we have object A colliding with object B. In that collision, they're touching each other and pushing on each other. Keep in mind, what's really pushing is the molecules in one are so close to the molecules in the other one that there's an electrostatic repulsion between them. Pretty much every contact force on Earth is because of electrostatic repulsion of what's going on in the atoms that are in contact between the two surfaces. That makes it a little bit easier for you to remember that the force on one is equal and opposite to the force on the other. So if the two things colliding are pushing equally on each other, and they kind of by definition must be touching for the same amount of time. So they're putting the same force for the same amount of time on each other, with of course one being in the opposite direction. Well, since force times time gives us impulse, that means the impulse on A is equal and opposite to the impulse on B. Because of course this one is F times T. This is the same F times the same T, except there's a negative sign. So the impulse on A is equal and opposite to the impulse on B. Well, we know the impulse causes a change in momentum. So the impulse causes a change in momentum. If these both are the same impulse, these are both the same change in momentum, except one is in the opposite direction. Well, if we think about the total momentum, well, if this one changed 5 to the right and this one changed 5 to the left, the total change is 0. The momentum has been conserved, conservation of momentum. All right, let's go get into the problem. Here's what the problems look like. They'll have a statement like this. Two spring-loaded cards are at rest. For this concept builder, they'll always start at less rest. On a low friction track, we're pretending it's zero friction. So there's no outside forces pushing on these two cards. The spring is released, pushing the cards away from each other. So there's a spring in between here that pushes the red one to the right and the blue one to the left. When a trigger is released, three situations are shown. Identify any situations that violate the law of conservation of momentum. Well, if we are starting out on this side with a momentum of zero, the total momentum of A and B is zero, then we must end up with the same zero, which means the momentum of A is going to equal the momentum of B, but in a negative direction. Okay? We can just assume that this one is always positive, this one's always negative, and so we can ignore the sign on it and just make sure that they both have the same momentum. Okay, so it says here the bricks on top of the carts have the same mass as the cart. Okay, so this has two times the mass 
This has one times the mass. Here we see the velocity over here that has a one velocity. This little line means there's two segments here. So this has a two velocity. Well, momentum is mass times velocity. Two times one. So this one has two. This is one times two. That's also two. So that one is good. Momentum has been conserved. It started out with zero. One of them has negative two, the other has two, which means the total momentum is still zero, because remember, momentum is a vector. All right, so here we have a mass of one, a mass of three, we have a velocity of three, and a velocity of two. So this one, three times one gives us three, three times two gives us six, and momentum has not been conserved. That could not happen. This would not happen. Either the red cart would be going a velocity of six, or the blue cart would be going a velocity of one. Either one of those would make them match up. Okay? All right. Depends how hard the explosion is, which of those two things would happen. All right. But this could not happen. This could not happen because three does not equal six. <laughs> okay? And remember, they have to be equal because of conservation momentum. All right, so here in our last one, we have a mass of three, a mass of two, a velocity of one, a velocity of two, one times three is three, two times two is four, three does not equal four, so that one also violates the law of conservation of momentum, okay, meaning it would not happen. These would have to be going different speeds, like this could be going two and this could be going three then we'd have two times three and th two times three and two times three okay or three times two and two times three however you want to look at it all right so that's all you got to do is figure out the mass of each block multiply it times the number of segments of the velocity okay and you'll see if they're equal or not if they're equal do not click it if they are not equal then click it it'll actually put it in bars like it's in jail Okay, which is kind of fun because it violated the law. Alrighty. Well, enjoy puzzling that out. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below. Um, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you to understand conservation momentum, click that like and subscribe button, and we'll catch you the next time on the scientific adventures of Beardman.